I'm gonna be entering some spoiler territory, so if you have not seen Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice, don't watch this video maybe? If you just don't care, then by all means, keep watching. So much, so much wasted potential. New title right here. Batman v Superman v Wonder Woman v Justice League Dawn of Establishment. That's what the title should have been. Is the movie good? Not really. It's not the worst movie in the world, though. A quick summary and a quick review of it, I would say, is um, it's entertaining, but it's a little difficult to follow. It also kind of takes itself too seriously. I wish that the movie just stuck with having the focus on Batman versus Superman. This movie tries to cover a lot of ground in just two and a half hours when it should have just been the Batman versus Superman fight. And since it tried to cover so much ground in such in just one movie, it suffers a little bit. So as a whole, I would say it's an entertaining movie. I like the movie, but it just has a lot of problems. I'll start with Batman. Ben Affleck, I thought, killed it as Batman. He seems to be just like the Batman from The Dark Knight Returns. He's brutal, he's mean, he really could give less shits about what he does to the people he's hurting. I've been hearing a lot that people have issues with him using guns and seeing that it looks like he's just flat out looking to kill some people out there. I can see where they're coming from because I had to stop myself and realize like, whoa, this Batman is using guns right now. And some of the things he does to these people, it seems like he's out to kill. But when I came out of the theater, I realized that the Batman from the book that he's based off of has no problem really killing people either in respect to the character he's portraying from that certain storyline. He's as mean as he's ever been and he does use guns a couple times in the book. But other than that, like the character of Batman I thought was really great. Superman is more or less the same like he was in, like he was in Man of Steel. I think he's okay as Superman. He's not He's not spectacular. I think he does a good job. Gal Gadot did a really good job as Wonder Woman. Her appearance as Wonder Woman is very scarce, but when she comes on screen, everybody was really excited to see her. Everyone in the theater cheered for her, and I was right there with him. I was very excited to see her, and she did a really good job as being Wonder Woman, like I thought Wonder Woman might be like. Jesse Eisenberg's character is Lex Luthor. Or, um, hmm. How do I... How do I put this? Um... It's okay, again, same kind of like Superman, but um, the main problem I have with Jesse Eisenberg's Lex Luthor is he kind of plays him as, as like a nervous kid, a nervous kid, like looking a little twitchy. I mean, he is kind of maniacal and whatnot, but he's not quite what I had hoped that he'd turn out to be. He did fine. I mean, like, kudos to him for trying to make it work for him. I mean, like, I can see that maybe he tried to put his own twist on it. Last character I want to talk about is uh, Lois Lane. Lois Lane, I thought, really didn't need to be in this movie. She was kind of just there. Her entire character, for the most part, was just... She needs saving. 85% of her scenes are just her being saved. And I thought that that was kind of demeaning towards the character because in the last movie she wasn't really damsel in distress. She, she was someone who took charge and she didn't really take any shit from anybody. It didn't look, it looked like she could handle herself if she needed to. I also thought her character was just a little bit annoying. I think it has something to do with the damsel in distress part of her character or how she was used, I'm sorry, because towards the end of the fight she kind of gets in the way a little bit because again in the last scene she also needed to be saved. What you came for, the fight between Batman and Superman. The fight only lasts maybe seven minutes. Don't get me wrong though, the fight the fight was cool. I liked watching it and watch and watching the build up to it. I was very excited and I was very entertained. It's not quite as amazing I hoped it would be, but don't get me wrong, it is entertaining. I'm not saying it's bad or anything. I just I think I had too high hopes for it cuz I was hoping that it was just going to be Batman versus Superman, but then with all the trailers being released and showing that it's going to be way more than that and people need to be introduced and established in the movie. I guess it didn't leave that much room for the fight to be fully fleshed out, I guess, and to be a little bit longer or maybe a little bit more elaborate. I think just for me, I had my expectations too high up. As far as some things that I just have problems with the movie, with its plot and its storytelling, I would say that its pacing is really all over the place. I don't see why a lot of the stuff in the movie needed to be there. I would cut Lois Lane trying to find where that bullet came from. I would cut the parts with all the Daily Planet stuff. Maybe keep a couple scenes, but not as much as they had. This movie has plots. It's not just one plot. It's got the plot of Batman versus Superman. It's got the plot of Lois Lane trying to find the where the bullet came from. It's got the plot of trying to set up all the characters that the Justice League are gonna have. It's also got to establish their sequel. It was just so much extra stuff that didn't really need to be there. The way they introduced the other characters of the Justice League, Flash, Cyborg, and Aquaman, I know they have to establish these characters, but the way that they did it was just so quick. It adds on to the movie needing to set up 
their characters and how the rest of the DC universe is gonna go. All in all, I don't think the movie's terrible. I don't think it's the best thing in the world either. I wouldn't recommend you not see it, but if you're a fan of DC, you're a fan of superhero movies, go see it. It's an entertaining movie, so hope you enjoy the movie.